This is question number 22. Okay, so the diagram shows a prism. The cross section of the prism is an isosceles triangle. I could tell that as well because there are these two lines here. That means it's an isosceles triangle. Part A says, work out the surface area of the triangular prism. State the units of your answer. So remember, the units are going to be centimeters squared because they're all centimeters and it's an area. It's a centimeter squared. You get a mark for that with no matter what your number part is. You want us to work out the surface area. So think about what the net of this shape is going to look like. Right? The net is, if this was a cardboard box, what would it look like if I sort of broke it all apart? So the net is going to look something like this. You have the triangle at the front, the triangle at the back, and then all the way around. So at the sides, you have two rectangles and you have a base as a rectangle. So we need to work out the area of each of the sections. What is really important that you remember here is that the area of a triangle is half times base times height. Half base times height. So let's first work out the area of this triangle at the front. The base is 10. The height of this triangle is that distance there, and it's not written in, but it's on the back here, right? So you need to spot that, and the height is 12. So half times base times height is half times 10 times 12. 10 times 12 is 120. Half of 120 is 60. So the area of the front is 60 centimeters squared. Okay, so we've just worked out that bit. One of the things you should spot is that the front and the back are the same triangle. Right, so the area of the back is going to be the same thing as well. So that's going to be 60 centimeters squared. Do sort of label it, and you could write them down as you go along, but you need to make sure that you find the area of every single face. Now we still have three more faces, there are three triangles that go all the way around. Okay, let's have a look at that. This tri this sorry, three rectangles that go all the way around. This rectangle on this side here, it is going to be as I indicated, 8 times 13. Yeah, 8 times 13. Take your time with that. 8 times 13 is 104. Now, you're not going to have a calculator. 8 times 10 is 80. 8 times 3 is 24. 80 plus 24 is 104 centimeters squared. Okay? And in this particular case, because this is an isosceles triangle, that rectangle there is the same as the rectangle on the other side over there so that's going to be 104 as well all right now all we have left is to find the rectangle at the bottom the rectangle at the bottom is going to be 10 times 8 10 times 8 is 80 so all of these figures that i've put in blue here these are the areas of the different faces and i just need to add those together right 60 at 60 at 104 at 104 at 80 now do take your time with this a lot of people are prone to making mistakes adding up they add up to 100 uh, sorry 408 centimeters squared do include the centimeter squared right do include the centimeter squared in the answer because remember the question said state the units of your answer if you show all the workings you will get all the marks okay this is a good question it is a question that's likely to come up Make sure you do understand it, you do try it, and you have a solid understanding and grasp of it. Let's go on to part B. Part B says, work out the volume of the triangular prism. State the units of your answer. So it's a volume. All the units are in centimeters, so I know it's going to be centimeters cubed. That's going to be the units of my answer. To work out the volume of a triangular prism, I need to find the area of the front and times it by how far back it goes. So this is given on the formula sheet. The area of the cross section, which is the area of the front, and then times it by its length, how far back it goes. Now in this case, I need to work out the area of that triangle at the front and then times it by how far back it goes, and it goes eight back. So the triangle at the front, remember again, as before, half base times height, the area of the triangle, the area of that triangle, Half the base, which is 10, the height, which is at the back here, 12, right? We did this just before. A half, 10 times 12 is 60, and it goes 8 back. So the volume is going to be 60 times 8, 60 times 8, 6 times 8 is 48, add a zero on, 480 centimeters cubed. Make sure you put the units in there, please, right? That's your answer. 
that's a pretty straightforward three marks. You will get something like this. It might not be a triangular prism. It could be a more complex shape. You need to use the same technique, the area of the front times how far back it goes. Please do make sure you have a solid and good understanding of this.